Astrop community continues to wait for answers as to what led to Tuesday's accident, as well as the conditions of those still in hospitals. KXAN's Brittany Glass joins us after getting a briefing from Bastrop. Concern and anxiety. That's the mood here today in Bastrop as friends of passengers on the charter bus anxiously wait to talk to their loved ones and find out when they'll be coming home. We don't the Bastrop police chief says of the four people killed in the crash, two of them were from Lockhart, one was from Sealy, and another was from Bastrop. Local authorities say they are committed to providing all the help they can to those who've experienced this tragedy. After all, they've been through trials like this before. We've dealt with, uh, actually in the last five years, six natural disasters, two fires and four floods, and then, and then this tragedy following on the heels of all of that. What we've learned is that um, just as with much of Texas, we're pretty tough people and, and bounce back and help each other. We don't leave anybody out there to fend for themselves. As many as 10 passengers on that bus are now on their way home to Bastrop on a bus. We're told that bus should arrive here tonight in Bastrop around 1030. The Bastrop police chief has invited the community to come on out and welcome them home as yet another sign of their resilience and support. Reporting outside Bastrop City Hall, Brittany Glass, back to you. Today, investigators with the National Transportation Safety Board are gathering evidence at the crash scene. They plan to be at the scene for five to seven days, and they're interviewing people that were on the bus, witnesses, as well as the driver and train engineer. They want to know how long the bus was on the tracks and if anyone called CSX Railway to warn the company. Investigators will also measure and check the size of the hump at that railroad crossing. This is the 17th train vehicle crash at that same railroad crossing in Biloxi since 1976. Last one was just this past January. This Pepsi truck bottomed out. In 2014, the same thing happened with a tractor trailer rig. People died in crashes there at 2003 and in 1983. Despite all of those crashes, this same crossing passed a safety check just a few weeks ago. And it's not one of the six crossings the city of Biloxi recommended for closure last month because of safety concerns. The mayor of Biloxi says he personally knew three people who had died in car train collisions.